Hello there guys and girls, I hope you're doing well. I'm Chris O'Neill, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the new audio unit version of Reason 11 within Logic, and do some really cool and convenient routings. Reason was actually the first ever digital audio workstation I worked in, so I'm really happy to be able to use it again in my current workflow. If you have any questions along the way, please let me know in the comments and I'm happy to get back to you. Enjoy! So to give an idea of the routing possibilities within Reason, let's make a drum loop. We'll keep everything inside the combinator, making it super easy to load later on. We have three native drum machines within Reason. There's the Kong, the Redrum, and the Rhythmic. I generally like the look and the feel of the Rhythmic better, but to get ideas down fast, I like the step sequence of the Redrum. What's really cool about Reason is that you can actually combine them. One thing that's really cool about Rhythmic is that you can actually start your drum kits on your phone or tablet within the Reason Compact application. You can then export it and load it straight into Reason on your computer. Really convenient for making grooves while traveling. As we don't really need the sound of the Redrum, let's make sure the outputs are unplugged. We then take the gate out of the Redrum and put into the gate in of the Rhythmic. Now let's make a little drum sequence. So as you can see, we now use the redrum sequencer to trigger the samples of the rhythmic. Now that we've got a loop going, it's really easy to change the banks and the individual sounds. Let's take the Electropop kit and let's look for another kick drum. It's also really easy to change the sound, do fades, maybe a bit of distortion or even to low cut if you want. Okay, so I'm gonna play around with the drums for a little bit and then open Logic to see some of the routing possibilities. Okay, so let's open a new project within Logic. We're gonna choose the software instrument. and the Reason Rack plugin in the multi-output version. Gotta choose multi-timbral and have just one part for now. So let's open Reason and load in the drum kit we just made. We're gonna use the Combinator patch and let's have a listen. Okay, so let's have a look at the routing options. We're gonna go to the mixer. And we're gonna press the little plus button and make seven new auxiliary channels. So we have eight in total, one for each output on the drum machine. We're gonna mark them all, right click and create a track for each. Now let's go back to Reason. We're gonna flip the rack. Unplug the main outputs and connect the separate outputs of Rhythmic to the output and Reason going into Logic. Okay, let's go back to the front of the rack and unclick the button saying to main. And as you can see, the sounds are now playing on individual channels within Logic. Okay, so let's go and have a look at some of the MIDI options.
Okay, so even though I like sequences to get ideas done fast, for full arrangements, I prefer to work in MIDI. So let's start by deleting the redrum. And let's start to trigger the sounds from within the arrangement window. So each sound of the drum machine is triggered by its own MIDI note. The first sound is triggered by C1. The second sound is triggered by C-sharp 1. The third one by D1. And so on and so forth. To speed up the workflow, I find it much easier to use the same note to trigger every sound. Let's use C3. A thing that's really cool within Logic is that you can transpose entire channels. Let's go from C3 down to C1, which is 2 octaves, 24 notes. For the next one, it's minus 23. The third one, minus 22. Obviously, having to do this every time you open a new project before you can even get started isn't very good for inspiration. So I suggest you save it as a template within Logic. I've put a link for the project file in the description, so you can skip this step. And the last one. Okay, so now every sound is triggered by the same node, C3. Okay, so now the thing is you can still trigger the samples from the other channels. We want to limit this to just one sound per channel. So we go to key limit and set both the lower and the higher note to C3. Meaning you can only use that specific note. Last few ones. So now you can only trigger the intended sound. Let's have a look at some additional routing, as well as a couple of effects from within Reason. Okay, so I've done a little arrangement, and I want to look into some mixing options. So now we can mix the individual channels. Let's use the channel EQ from Logic to high pass the hi-hat. We can even use some additional effects from within Reason. Let's use the reverb. And let's add a delay as well. So we're going to open the Reason Rack once again. And let's choose the Echo. Let's have a listen. Let's change the timing a bit. Okay, so let's route some of the drums into a bus to give it some gentle bus compression. I usually leave out the kick, so let's just mark the others. Gonna route to bus 3. Open another instance of Reason. And use the master bus compressor. Let's tweak it a bit. Let's have another listen. Ok, 
so let's add some more effects from within reason, but let's keep the instance count down a little bit. Go back to the original channel. And let's add an equalizer to the snare. Gonna flip the rack. Unplug the snare for now. Plug it into the EQ and back into the master. We can now do some high passing. And maybe boost the top end a bit. You can even add a couple of mastering plugins to make it sound even tighter and make sure you don't blow up your speakers. And that's it for me for this time. If you have any questions about the routing or so, please let me know in the comments and I'm happy to help out. All the best wishes, take care.